So, Dragon Ball Super is over. Done. Finished. Well, for now, anyway. Truth is, Dragon Ball Super is coming back. Possibly. As of yet, there has been no confirmation of a return for Dragon Ball Super, or even another series entirely, but I'm pretty sure we will be getting one. Many signs have pointed towards Dragon Ball Super coming back after the upcoming movie, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at 5 signs that Dragon Ball Super will be making a return. Remember, once again, as of yet, there has been no confirmation of Dragon Ball Super returning. This is all just speculation, so uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think Dragon Ball Super is going to return let me know so hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it hey guys before we get into the video i just wanted to let you all know that i now officially have a discord server shout out to my boy Exelius for making me one so if you guys want to come join my discord server talk about some dragon ball super talk about some minecraft you can check it out with the uh, link in the description all right peace First up, we have so many questions and not enough answers. Has Goku surpassed Beerus? Who killed Jiren's family? Who, what, and where is Zamala? Why were the other six universes erased? Why didn't Hit win the Tournament of Power? There are so many questions left unanswered with Dragon Ball Super and things that, without a new series, may never get answered. Look, obviously some items on that list I briefly mentioned um, are more explainable than others. Like why Hit didn't win, it's because th 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 uh, they did him dirty, that's why. But things like, who killed Jiren's family? My dude, this is one of the biggest anime blue balls of all time. Now, what does this have to do with Super returning? Well, it seems like these questions weren't planted for us to have something to complain about, but more so, so the writers have some future stories to explore. Or screw it, maybe, maybe it was just something for us to complain about, that works too. Number two, story lead ups. You know how many story lead ups we've had that if Dragon Ball Super doesn't return, we won't get Jiren and Goku fighting again, Beerus and Goku fighting again, Vegeta finding out Beerus called forth the erasure of planet Vegeta, visiting planet Salada, Frieza overthrowing the gods, what Hit was up to this whole time and why didn't he attack? Seriously, what the hell? It seems like with the amount of story possibilities Dragon Ball Super has, it could go on forever. <laughs> but it's not. But yeah, there are so many untold stories and story lead ups that we've had. We need these stories and the fact there are so many story lead-ups gives us a strong sign that Dragon Ball Super will return So if you saw my last video how Dragon Ball Super returns go watch it it's, it's it's pretty good in that video I explained how the ending of Dragon Ball Super didn't seem like an ending at all more So it seemed like they were strongly hinting at the show returning in the future the cutoff of Frieza standing in front of his new army prior to the end of the episode Goku and Vegeta telling each other yo Yo, let's get stronger. The narrator stating that when a new foe arises, Goku and his friends will be back. Until then, a brief parting. Brief. Brief. Sounds to me like they're planning on dropping a new series bombshell. Anyone else? This ending would be a good way to wrap up Super, but a new series would fit well as well. All right, check this out. So if you didn't know, Dragon Ball Super has an official Twitter account by the name of... Uh... And they tweeted out this, which says, This account will continue to announce the TV series Dragon Ball Super, as well as the movie information. So, continue. Keyword, anyone putting two and two together? I'm joking, but another big part of this is foreshadowing. At the end of the tournament, when Xeno fist bumped Goku, Xeno asked if they'll see him again soon. And for me, there has been too much emphasis on the future of the series to just end it here. And finally, money. Dragon Ball is one of, if not, the biggest anime in the world. And I'm going to be straight out here. The creators are making bank. In all honesty, I'd argue that Dragon Ball is currently more popular than it ever has been, so it wouldn't make sense to just end the show and not bring it back after this movie. However, at the end of the day, whether Dragon Ball Super returns or another series, no matter what, I just want you all to know that you can rest assured that I'll be back to making incorrect theories. But for real, I think they've hinted at a future series too much for them to just get rid of this TV series completely let me know what you think do you think dragon ball super will return leave a comment leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more weekly dragon ball gt